What's it like for you developing the concept of things? Are you collecting, like you said, fragments of words and then finding what makes sense for the concept? Are you thinking at it from like a bird's eye point of view where you're really developing the concept and then you go into what the lyrics are doing? What's that right. process like for you? Generally, it's probably um, different each time. But. Yeah, each one is unique and it's different sometimes, but I generally find that it kind of all happens at the same time. Like the same time you're sitting down and you're playing the guitar which is like up until recently like the main way i'll write songs i'll sit with a guitar yeah. i'll start playing i'll hear something in my head then i play it on guitar and then it starts to kind of all just gel together then i start to think i feel like the sound that i'm making with the guitar makes me feel a certain thing or see a certain thing and so then it starts to gel and it starts to all kind of get cohesive so it all kind of happens most of the time at the same time that's nice. Mm -hmm. Do you find that, did something like Danger Days, which is such a lovely counterpoint to a lot of the stuff that you did, it's so its own thing, and fans love that album, and it's one of my favorite mm -hmm. albums, and it's so different, especially with something like Planetary Go. In finding that sound, was it something like you guys had got the synths first, or did you have the concept for the song coming from like a specific movie? Was it based around the synths? Was that how you discovered that new direction? Planetary was based around the synths. So some of the songs on Danger Days, it's literally coming from what we later called conventional weapons. So some of those songs kind of carried over with us. What I like about Danger Days is it's this combination of like really gritty kind of garage rock mm -hmm. um, with a little bit of an electro kind of thing happening with it. So that particular song, we made this in Rob's uh, home studio. So Rob had a couple of keyboards and one of them was a Roland, I can't remember what it was called. And sometimes while we were recording, I would sit with headphones and other guys in the band did this too. I would sit with headphones and I just kept going through sounds and I would I would hear things you know it's another way that I can hear songs is I could sit with the keyboard and then just start messing around and then I'll hear yeah. a song so that arpeggiation happening in the background when it starts for planetary is something I heard on a keyboard and like an entire song was just really built off it's just like a few notes back and forth but the, the keyboard is yeah yeah, yeah duh. Uh, maybe. Oh, I'm thinking da, 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 da. Oh, that, yeah, yeah, that came later. The very first sound of Planetary was the da, 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 and that was arpeggio. And then everything, yeah, 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 I think that's how, well, the first thing you hear in Planetary on the final recording is that big siren. Yeah. Know? But once it starts to get into the vocals, you hear this basically keyboard part, and that gave birth to the entire song. That has like one of the weirdest, it feels weirder to groove on Planetary Growth than anything <laughs> else. You know, like most of most of Danger Days is like that for me. It gets me going more than any other album you guys did. And mm -hmm. it's so, like the Black Parade is like this genius thing that it's just, I have to just sit and listen to it with headphones like I can't be doing anything else. Mm -hmm. But especially something like Vampire Money, I just want to run whenever that's playing. I just yeah. want to start just moving. 